this is what I call a diary-like book that was just pocket-sized, taken from a Japanese soldier during the Second World War. My father was stationed in Tinian, which is part of the Mariana Islands, and he said to us that he took it from a dead Japanese soldier in a cave. I don't know what this book is. It just seems uh, big enough to fit into a, a man's pocket. There's all sorts of writing in it. It's divided into perhaps five, four or five days on each page. So that's why I thought maybe it was a diary. And then just over the weekend, I read a story about returning a soldier's flag. And there's an uh, organization, uh, I call it OBON, O-B-O-N Society in Oregon. They return things to families, um, artifacts that we Americans have from the war, and they work very hard to return it to um, the owners, or the owner's family, of course. You know, until, until this point in time when I read the story, I didn't put a whole lot of thought into it, but now that I'm really thinking about it, and I realized it belonged to a human being, a li living, breathing person who c could have had a family, could have had children, and I have it in my presence. And now I can hardly wait to, not say get rid of it, but I can hardly wait to send it to the Obon Society because someone in Japan belongs to this book. It belongs to them. And if the same thing would have happened to me if I'd lost my father in the war and somebody had something to return, that would be such a treasure because it would probably be the only war item that I had from my father.